Greetings. On this very special episode of Game Grammar Leaf Green, we're going to learn about the rough and tumble life of the big city, get taken advantage of when we try to exchange money for goods and services, and be exposed to the gross debauchery wrought by the excesses of the previous generations, which is surely an omen for our own life to come if we don't shape up quick. Let's go! The future's in our hands. Oh, Kimi wa Masaratan kara kitanda ne? Kimi means you, kara means from. Kita is the past tense form of the irregular verb kuru to come. Nda there is short for monoda or kotoda, because it's explanatory. And the ne at the end asks for confirmation. He's making an assumption that we are from Masara town, but he doesn't want to seem rude. So he's saying, Oh, you came from Masara town, right? Oh, Kimi wa Masara town kara kitanda ne? How he knows where we're from beats me. It's kind of creepy, like he's been watching us somehow. <laughs> Okido hakase o shitteru ne? Shitte is the te form of the godan ru verb shiru, which means to know. What is interesting is that if you want to let people know that you know something, you use te ru, like here. You are currently in a state of knowing it. But if you don't know something, you do not say shitte inai because it suggests that it hasn't happened yet, but it might or will happen in the future. Rather, use shiranai. Other verbs that work like this are sumu, to reside, hataraku, to work, and more. Basically, things describing your current and continuing status. You know Professor Okido, don't you? Okido hakase o shitteru ne? Let's see, there's three buildings in town. One of them is our house, Professor Oak's family lives in another, and Professor Oak himself works in the third, so I'd say chances are pretty good that we know the professor. Easy things first. Kore means this. Now that that's over, let's explain tanomareteru and the passive form. Passive form can be summarized as is verbed. Therefore, the main subject, usually paired with wa, is now the topic being acted upon rather than being the actor. It's used to talk about things that happened to someone or something, rather than what someone or something did. We can turn verbs into their passive form by adding an areru clause to the end. Replace the u with areru. Once in the passive form, the verb can be conjugated again as an ichidan ru verb. Hence, tanomareru is seen here in the present continuous tanomareteru. It is easiest to understand with examples. We could say, okido hakase wa Reddo ni yobu. Professor Okido will call for red. Okido is the subject of this sentence because he is the actor. But if we wanted the sentence to focus on red, we could say Reddo wa Okido hakase ni yobareru. Red will be called for by Professor Oak. See how the wa particle is now attached to red, making him the subject of the sentence. But the meaning of the sentence is essentially the same. That's the power of passive form. <clears throat> Back to Tanomu. Tanomu means to ask a favor, and is in the passive and present continuous form, tanomareteru, so it means being asked for a favor. The ending dakedo means however. Kedo is often used to soften sentences. Japanese speech tries to be as polite as possible. Here, the dakedo makes the request sound less intrusive and rude. Kind of like someone saying, if you have time, could you do this? Sometimes they even drop the could you do this, because actually saying it is just too rude. And is implied by the but. Watasu means to hand over. Tekureru means do a favor, or more specifically, give a favor. Tekureru is a very commonly used phrase, so make sure you learn it. He wants you to do a favor for him, which is handing something over that he was asked to take care of. For regular questions, you end the sentence in ka. But you can use kai instead for yes or no questions. So this phrase would mean, can you hand this over for me? I was asked to take care of this, but can you do me the favor of handing it over? Kore tanomareteru n dakado, watashite kureru kai? It was a yes or no question, but our only option was yes, so it wasn't a yes or no question. Oh well. Reddo wa shoppu kara otodoke mono wo azukatta. Shoppu is shop, and kara means from. Todokemono is something to deliver. The kanji literally means deliver thing. We'll call it a parcel. 
they just added an honorable O before it, and la-di-da, it's fancy now. Azukatta might be familiar. It's the same to receive into custody, seen previously at the Pokémon Center. Though here, Azukaru becomes the past tense Azukatta. Red was given a parcel from the shop. Red wa shoppu kara otodoke mono wo azukatta. Red wa otodoke mono wo taisetsu na mono poketto ni shimatta. Taisetsu is a very important word. It means important. And it is important to describe important things by emphasizing their importance. Taisetsu. It's a na adjective, so it modifies nouns with na. What's so important here? The mono. The items or things. And poketto means pocket, so it's the important items pocket. Shimatta is the past tense shimau, to put away. Red put the parcel in the important items pocket. Red wa otodoke mono wo taisetsu na mono poketto ni shimatta. We don't have any other option, so we'll have to give this to Professor Oak. <laughs> We're doing his job for free in our hometown. But allow me to stick it to the man and do some sightseeing first. Arara, Ji-chan, konna tokoro de nechatte, shouga nai wa ne. Alright, so this old man is asleep. I know this because of nechatte, but you may not, which means we gotta back up a bit. Neru means to go to bed or to sleep, and it's with te shimau. Shimau is the same verb as before, when we put the parcel in our taisetsu pocket, but it's paired so often with the te form like this that we call it its own grammar form, and it tells us something was done completely. But that gives us nete shimau, not nechatte. Well, in the tradition of everyone, everywhere, we shorten nete shimau because it's too long and create nechau. And the te form of nechau? Nechatte. We can just leave the te form there because the sentence continues. The te form can also be used like and to make compound sentences, and it implies that there's either a relationship with the following word or that something happened after it. Nechatte would be completely fell asleep. Konna means such, like this. It's like ko, seen in such words as kono and kore, which referred to objects close to the speaker. And tokoro means place, so together they mean in a place like this, meaning the middle of the road. He's blocking our way. Guess we really didn't have a choice about delivering that package. Reminds me of a certain Pokemon. Arara is an interjection that's like, oh, and oh dear, or uh-oh. Shoganai is a phrase that means it can't be helped. Literally, it means there is no method. And look, female speech, if we couldn't see anything, but could still read somehow, we'd still know it's a lady because of wane, feminine and asking for agreement. Oh, Grandpa, you completely fell asleep in a place like this. There's nothing we can do. Arara, Ji-chan. Konna tokoro de nechatte. Shouga nai wa ne. Yoi ga sameru ma de matsu shika nai wa. This yoi is written like this in kanji. Now, the radical or kanji part on the left there is the same as the one in sake or liquor. Just guess where this is going. This old dude is drunk! Sameru means to wear off and made means until. Mate can be used for time, distance, places, all kinds of stuff. A verb in dictionary form with shikanai in English would be literally, except for verb, there is nothing. Though most translators would say, there is no choice but to verb. And we're very much acquainted with the verb matsu, to wait. We've seen Okido say, sanbiki shika no kotoran, I don't have more than three Pokemon left, before. It's similar, but with no number, we talk about the action and the futility of straying from that preordained path. Even in polite speech, you'd be using that verb before shikanai, rather than dress it up all polite. Remember how this old guy in English versions was grumpy because he didn't have his morning coffee? That's the magic of censorship! Until the drunkenness wears off, there's nothing else to do but wait. Yoi ga sameru made matsu shikanai wa. Oi, hikku, machi yagare, washi no hanashi o kike. Oi can be nothing more than an interjection, like oi. 
Well, that's most likely what this intoxicated Tosuyori is saying. Hikku is the onomatopoeia of his hiccups. Stem verb with yagaru is a grammar clause that expresses disdain and contempt for someone's action. And of course, it's conjugated in strong order form, cementing his status as rude, drunk, or, well, local color. Still, it means he's ordering us to wait, and he's being a jerk. We've seen hanashi before, it means speech or story. Speech is more appropriate here, though. Washi no is washi, me, with the possessive no, so it's my speech. Kiku means to listen, and kike is the strong order form. We mash all this together and we get, Oi! <laughs> Wait, chump! Listen to what I have to say. Oi! <laughs> Matsuyagare! Washi no hanashi o kike! Kora! Ikuna! Toit toro ga! Earth! Fire, air, water. Only the Avatar can. Oh, mm, <clears throat> well, uh, Kora, not the Avatar, means hey. While Ikuna is the negative strong order form, don't go. If you remember Okido shortening his speech, you'll know that Ittoru is actually an old person way of saying Itteoru, which is itself an old person way of saying Itteru. The verb that lies at the heart of all this, you, means to say. Furthermore, it's volitional, itteoro, and way to make everything more complicated. Now, about that ga. It's, I said don't go, but it's sloppily like, ikuna to ittoro. This ga is part of a trailing sentence, like, sore ga. There's usually more incomplete sentences in Japanese than English because it's extremely easy to guess certain things via context. Hey, don't go, it's what I'm trying to say. Kora, ikuna, to it Toroga. The lesson here, kids, is that when an old drunkard is yelling at you in the street, it's probably best to just leave him alone. Walk away. Far, far away. Maybe call an ambulance if it looks like he's hurt? But it's too late now. No, don't look back. We have no regrets, my friends. Regrets are for the weak and the dead. Let's run away and don't ever look back, don't ever look back. My heart stops when you look at me, just one touch. Now baby, I believe this is real. So take a chance and don't ever look back, don't ever look back. Next time on Game Grammar, I stop singing, and we deliver this fushigi no todoke mono, because we aren't getting past this drunkard anytime soon. If you want to see the next episode as soon as possible, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you can't figure out what a fushigi no todoke mono is, there are links to vocab flashcards below. If you want general updates, follow us on Twitter or Facebook. And if you want to help support us, like our wonderful current patrons do, visit our Patreon at patreon.com slash gamegrammar. Until next time, abayo! Nigeru means to escape, to run away, and when we pair stem verb with kiru, we have the implication that it's an action that was performed in its entirety. Once you're finished, you sever your ties to it. Cut it off.